Hi, everybody. How are you today? Welcome to the latest episode of your Business in Digital Summer Wrap-Up. I'm Debbie Mitchell, an Emmy-nominated TV producer and video marketing strategist and founder of Deborah Mitchell Media and Associates, and I'm a regular contributor to the show. If you're new to your business in digital and a business owner, we detail what drives revenue and how you as a business owner can maximize your return on investment when it comes to marketing and supporting your sales with digital strategies and tactics. I focus on ways to use video content as a part of your digital marketing strategy. Before we get started, I'm gonna ask you to follow, connect, and subscribe to our social media platforms. We're on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. You can listen to us on Spotify, and we look forward to having you as viewers. So today, I'm going to be talking about video. I'm going to be joined with a guest, and we're going to be talking about how we can use video to advance and elevate your video online. Shawana Kennedy is the video production director for Kennedy Media and Entertainment. Welcome, Shawana. How are you? Hello, hello. Thanks for joining me. So we are both producers and we work with business owners and entrepreneurs all the time in getting their video together. I first want to talk about your tagline to your company. So tell me what it is and explain why. It is to be seen, be heard, be known. I say increase your video visibility because if they don't know you, they don't know you. Partly what that means also is just creating a strong, visible presence because it helps to ensure and builds the trust. It also attracts the right person to you. It gives your message voice and it allows it to be seen. And so that's why I say be seen, be heard, and increase that visibility because if they don't know you, they don't know you. I've been talking about that all of last season and you know, people are realizing slowly but surely that video is an important part of the strategy. So you say that when getting started, because some people are still slow to get started and they may be interested, but they're not sure about how to get started. So you say one of the first things that they need to remember is the why. Tell me about the why. We all need to know our why. I'm not even gonna start and or stop with just creating videos or visibility. It's in whatever we do. So this doesn't matter if you're an entrepreneur business owner, this is for every person. We have to understand our why because that why is what drives our message. And then that message then allows that message for one, for us to show up in our true selves. It helps to resonate with the right people, whether it's for a following and or for your right client. They need to know what is that message and you need to know that. So that why allows you to be more of yourself so that they know you and they're feeling and they're understanding you and getting the value out of you the very first time. I'm a big advocate of having a plan, a strategy, and then the execution. I talk about that all the time. Let's talk about the strategic planning and leveraging of video visibility. You say use calendars to organize video content. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yes, especially if you're doing it for yourself. I often say it and I share it that I had to become what I needed. So if for you, if you are a planner, even if you don't want to, this will help you get better so that you'll know, depending on what your schedule is, because if your nine to five is actually funding what you really want to ultimately do, if you're not on your own, those are the things that you really do have to think about to strategically align yourself. One, it'll help you to relieve less frustration. If you know based off your calendar, you know the things that you're doing to help guide you. So the calendar really plays well into the next question because you talk about aligning video marketing with seasonal and promotional events. So we're in the summer season now. I know you're a big fan of themes. You like everyone should have a theme. So let's talk a little bit about that. Yes, you have to have it. And like you said, I love, love, love the summertime. I mean, it might help just a little bit because I was born in the summer. It keeps your content, your message relatable, right? It keeps people interested. It allows you to be more engaging. That way, if it's with the summer, for example, if we were speaking about July, you have fireworks. It's what in with that theme, even if you're not into it, but it's like what with your messaging, could you say, how are you showing up and being free? 
what are the fireworks going off in your business? What alarms that should be set for you? So you can use those to help drive that content to keep it fresh, keep it relevant. I want to talk a little bit more about leveraging the video content for leveling up exposure. I've run across some clients who may not be very active on social media, but they do want to have a video presence. And I encourage them to have a sizzle reel. I said, okay, start small, have a sizzle reel. That's something that can live online on your website. You can actually put the link of it in the signature of your email. So it's it's still a way, even though you're not consistently on social media with the calendar, you can still have the video and people can not get a little taste of you. So tell me, do you work with scissor reels? How do you feel about applying starting that way? No, I love that idea because I'm all about, you know, my primary focus is video. Mm -hmm. And so having that, it is a quick way to send it out. For example, if you did, if you needed it, you could say, hey, send me this, send me your bio, send me your picture. Boom. That allows you to show up even when you can't. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's thinking about those times when you physically can't show up. What do you have in your chest that you can actually show someone that is quickly say, do I want them? Do I want, do I want him or her? Yeah, for sure. For sure.